Hopefully I don't screw it up. <laughs> so the next thing is uh, we're going to look at interfaces. So interfaces uh, allow you to define functionality. And so interfaces are implicitly implemented in Go. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just look at them in action. And so first thing I'm going to do is type square. And square is a struct. And it has a, a side. And that is a float 64. Okay, So square has a side. has four sides, but we just need no one because it's a square and they're all the same. Definition of square. And it's float 64. And then square, I'm going to give to square and just, you know, just so that you don't think that this has to be S. Or does that confuse you if I call that S? No? No, that's fine. It could be anything. I'm going to, you could calculate the area of a square. And so I could say, uh, and I'll return a float 64. And the area is uh, S side times S side, right? Cool. And so then that's a square. So I'm going to copy all this. And I could do a circle. Up, 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 up. Circle. And for a circle, I need a radius. What's the, what's the area of a circle? It's 2 pi r. Pi r squared, you guys are right. All right, so we have pi, math dot pi, times r. Let's do, it doesn't matter, order of multiplication. 2 times 4 times 3 is 8, 3, 24. Uh, 4 times 3 is 20, 12 times 2 is 24. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry. Circle radius times circle radius. That's the area of a uh, circle, right? Okay. And uh, and then type, 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 shape, interface. Interfaces allow you to, die, to define functionality. Anything that has this method attached to it, a method with that signature attached to it, automatically implicitly implements the shape interface. A shape can have area, right? And a square has area, a circle has area. And so if something has area, we're going to call it a shape. By God, we're calling it a shape. Logically, it makes sense. This is how we say it programmatically. It's an interface. If you study Java, you'd look at, like, I think they're abstract classes and interfaces. Java people in here? No. All right. So this is how we define, this is how we define uh, functionality, right? So it, and both circle and square, right, are, all, are both also now shapes. So they, they have two types. A square is a square and a shape. A circle is a circle and a shape. That's kind of cool. So I could come down here and let's just play with that. And so I have square one, colon equal, and it's a square, and it's a size 10. And I have circle one, colon equal, and it's a circle, and it has a radius of four. Okay, and format dot print line s1 and I could call area s1 area copy circle one area math pi format run 
as site evaluated but not used. Thank you. Yeah, we know that already. That's just structs. Go watch this. I'm just wondering what to call it. I'll do this. Won't return anything. Identifier. So I could do it that way, or I could do so. That's one way of doing it. Let me just, I guess I'll just put up the finished version. Format dot. Sorry, print area and pass in S1. Print area and pass in C1. Print area takes a shape. A circle is a shape and a square is a shape. They are both automatically, implicitly shapes. They implicitly Im implement this interface because they have that method attached to their type. So those are both shapes. So I could pass them into this function, which takes a shape. It says format print line my area is x, right? Area takes a shape. And so x, whatever got passed in, it's going to call the area function for that thing that got passed in. So I'll call their individual functions. Those are interfaces. So challenges for you to help you get this. Create a struct that holds person fields. Create a struct that holds secret agent fields and embed person type, embeds person type. We didn't do embedding. Did we do that before? Never did that in here. Attach a method, attach a method, create a variable, print a field, attach a variable, print a speech, speech, speech. All right, so I just want you to do the second one. And then I'll show you embedded fields in a second. We'll do that one. So create a type square, create a type circle, attach a method, create a type shape, which defines an interface. All right, create a func info, which takes type shape, then prints the area. Create a value of type square, type circle, use funk info in there. And there's the answer if you need to see it. So do that challenge. Here, I'll put this challenge in our notes so you can see it. And we'll call it hands-on number one. And then we'll do the embedded type afterwards. The answer's right there if you need a glance at it. 